Hey guys, my name is Shubhrajan Bhaskar and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to add custom download button within your framer websites in just a few steps. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So all you need to do add a custom download button in your website is create a new asset or rather a code component. The code for the component can be found in the link given in the video description. So all you have to do is select the code, copy it and go to framer, assets, then click on the code button right here, create a new component, give your component a name. So I'm gonna give it as download button, create a new component. So once you do that, you'll see all this code right here. What you have to do is select everything inside it and remove it and paste the code that we had just copied right here. You can also edit the component by changing the width and height or border radius of this component. Make sure you save the code right here by pressing command S on the keyboard. You can edit the margin, padding, border radius or everything. Now go back to the pages section of your website, copy the code and drag it onto your project file right here. Now once we do that, all we have to do is upload the file. So select the component, scroll down and choose file. You can choose any file up to 50 megabytes. So I'm going to sele uh, select this for example. And then what I'm going to do is publish the website. Now, if you go to the Framer website that we have just published, you can see once I click on the download button right here, the download will start and I can save the download file as requested. But you'll see that the name of the file is all this gibberish and you don't want that. You don't want this to be your file name when anyone downloads your file. So what we are going to do is go back inside Framer. You can change the label as you want. That's not an issue. But to change the custom file name, we can add a custom file name right here. So I'm going to give it a name called custom file name or you can use anything that you would want to like. And then I'm going to publish the website again. Once we do that, we can go back to our updated published website. And once I click on the download button, you can see that I've got the custom file name right here that I can save the file with. Do make sure that you are using the code that is given inside the video description and not the code given by the official framework website because you cannot add the custom file name to the component that we have just created from the official code that the framework website has given. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.